Time, 100th ep, big 100th ep. As I said, special guest by the end of it. Ooh, uh, can't wait. Who's yeah. it going to be? But this special skill caught my eye and uh, it seemed really just, I mean, with any 100th episode, those type of things, you're allowed to be a bit indulgent. Yeah, you are. And I thought we were going to do the whole show as a montage, so I'm very surprised <laughs> to be here today. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think this special skill lends itself to a trip down memory, memory lane. Nick Mulligan joins us. Ahoy, Nick. Ahoy, boys. Hello, Nick. Um, ahoy. I think you must be on one of those, uh, an HD line. Yeah, sometimes we've, we've, we've been having those this year. I don't know if people have noticed that, but if someone's on a fancier Telstra line, mm. it comes through in high def. Um, so, Nick, you sound great. Thank you. You sound great too. <laughs> it, it sounds, it's better than a phone, but worse than a Zoom. Yeah, so somewhere, somewhere in that in zone. Middle, I think that's yeah. their ad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Nick writes, I can perfectly recall the episode number of any special skill oh, wow. you've had on the show. Okay. And whether or not they were successful. Oh, okay. That, well, actually, we probably do. We would be able to remember the successful ones, but where they place, that's a very difficult skill. Yeah. So, Nick, do you stand by that? Yeah. Yeah, well, the successful or not is pretty easy. The um, the episode, yeah, I reckon I'll be close. Fantastic. And what are we giving him? I've got Bang five. on the app? I've got, yeah, got to be bang on the app. I'm got to be bang on the app, But Nick. I've got five here, Ham, and should we give him four out of five? Oh, let's do that. Hey, Nick, off the top of your head, so what, um, what well, we're in episode 100, what would you say number-wise is your favourite app of the Hamish and Andy show? I don't know. Probably, oh, man, that's tough. Um, 32. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see if, the, if you know, you remember them as as, yeah. as numerical episodes. So it's been that long since a peak. I, okay. Yeah. And I thought, was it tough because there's so many good ones or was it tough <laughs> oh, because, because there aren't really aren't any good ones? Don't answer Boy, it. I just want us to yeah. ponder that, please. Was it sort of like <laughs> highest mountain in a quite a low-lying country? <laughs> <laughs> please don't answer it. Okay, let's jump into this, Nick. Right. Okay. Um, Nick, what I'm going to say is... The name of the special skill and what he said he could do. Yep. Yep. His name was Jock Lehman, and he says if he could see a movie three times and then he could remember the script from beginning to end. Who are these people? The shouting is a temporary side effect of the unfreezing process. So do, what, what, do you want me to keep going from there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you can. So he was successful. That was pretty early. Correct. Oh, Epi- oh, episode four. He's got it. <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> episode four. He was one of our first, wasn't he? Yes. And I actually think we peaked. I don't think we've had someone as remarkable as And we he. had him in here watching the whole thing, didn't we? Did we? Who do we have in that room over there watching Dragon Ball Z or something? <laughs> oh, no, that was that was about six or seven years ago. <laughs> <laughs> that was Ben Turner, who we still work with. <laughs> yeah. Play on. Play on. <laughs> he watched a whole episode of no. There was a fight scene. The longest ever fight scene is in a Dragon Ball Z cartoon. Yep. We made him watch the whole four hours or six hours or whatever it was. Gotcha. Tell us what it was like. I think. Yeah. Uh, anyway, well, there you go. So that's why Nick, you're very good at this, and Hamish is definitely not the person. All right, <laughs> second one. The combatant was Riley Jones, and he could tell if food was cold or hot just by looking at it. Toast. You can only be described as toast. You can come forward. Can only be described as toast. Oh, gee, that's hard. Yeah. That's probably that's my kryptonite toast. Oh, cold or hot? Go with whether he's successful or not first. I like the way you kind of. Oh, okay. No, he was definitely not successful. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You got that right. And that, that was that was this year. Yep. Maybe. Six. He's got it. I don't what? know. If, what? Is he cheating? <laughs> like that. He's got it. He's that got is it. Unbelievable, Nick. Okay, Nick. I'm gonna ask Nick. for quicker answers in this next bit. Yep. Yeah, Nick. Yeah, no, fair. Yeah, can you fair. just tell? Can you give us two good reasons why you're not cheating? Well, I listen to all the podcasts in quick succession, so I can. And like that one's from this year, so that one's pretty good. Hmm. But I remember him in, in blocks of ten, kinda. Oh, that, yeah. That's that's two pretty good reasons. That's okay. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> All right. The next person, Tom Tully. I'm able to tell anyone's shoe size oh, yeah. 
just by seeing their shoes or feet walk past. Contestant number two. Oh, here we go. That's more of a sand shoe. Like a... Oh, yes. I'm going to go a nine. Ladies nine. Ladies nine. Wasn't successful. It wasn't. Episode 38. You got it right. Oh, my God. Fantastic. This is, this is, this is, this is for a coin then. Catherine Hyde. Guess the cost of an entire shopping trolley. Here comes Hamish right now with the trolley. We've stolen the trolley from Cole. Okay. Talk us through. What are you seeing in there? What are you seeing? What are you feeling? Formula, which would probably be sitting at about $20, I think. Yep. Something like that. Deodorant's about $4. Batteries, maybe $10. Well, she wasn't successful. No, she wasn't. No, she really wasn't. Oh. I want to say... 23? No. Oh. 26. 26. 26. Oh. He's three off. He's bloody good. Are you real? So this let's a... have a look at this last one okay, for this the is playoff. Okay, for a coin. I mean, I already feel like you're in coin territory here, Nick, anyway, just because of those first three. Yep. Anya Martin worked at a bar, and she can grab the exact a handful of knives and forks, the perfect guesstimation, mm-hmm. and walk up to the, pay, the table and lay them out. Either one fork or knife short, or one fork or knife too many. There is your knives and forks. Her Thank eyes you. are scanning. She's scanning. She's scanning the table. She okay. knows the number. She is now not even looking. She's not even looking. It's almost like she doesn't trust her eyes. She trusts, but she trusts her hands. This was one of my favourite skills. It was she was successful. Episode sixty-seven. He's got it. <laughs> And you join the ranks of successful skill people. And you join the ranks of coin holders. Well done, sir. <laughs> well wow. done, buddy. That's exceptional and a nice trip down memory lane. This is good. Now we're getting very meta. Skills on skills. That's the first. That's, this is the first coin that's been awarded for knowledge of coins. Nick, congratulations. Head held high. And we needed that boost on episode 100. It would have been sad to have a failure. but um, Yeah, it would, have been, it would have been actually now realising the High Wire Act we're performing there to have to celebrate episode 100 have someone on that claims to be a super fan mm. to just give us a series of I don't knows <laughs> and, oh, sorry, I guess I missed a few and uh, yeah, maybe I'm thinking of a different podcast <laughs> that I listen to. <laughs> Thanks so much, Nick. Thanks, boys. Good Thanks, on you, mate. And it's with a heavy but necessary heart Ooh. we bring up the next item of business. This is, this is not fun. Well, it's not fun. It's the first time this has happened on the show. And, the, and one of the show mantras is fun. Yeah, and gusto. Gusto. So <laughs> yeah, I think we can... this I, year, wasn't it? Was new this year, but I think we can still maintain our gusto, <laughs> yeah. but it's sort of a serious gusto. Yes. Sort of like a high-energy frowning <laughs> as <laughs> yeah, we yeah. pursue what we need to talk about. Started getting uh, throughout the week, um, emails started pinging both mm. sides of the fence. DMs started pinging in. Uh, after episode Reddit, 100. After episode 100, which was meant to be a celebration. Yeah. The, the, there's a subreddit floating around out there that people were sending us screenshots of the thread of. Yeah. Uh, there was an issue with last week's special skills test. Um, a man called Nick, he fronted up, and we loved it for episode 100 because it was very meta. It was a special skill about special skills. Yeah. You could name the episode any special skill had landed in. And we thought, wow, what a great way to celebrate the century with a, with a fan of the show mm. and someone with an encyclopedic knowledge, certainly even better than ours. But a few people. Yeah, we must say we haven't had an issue with it. I haven't but, got an issue with this. We are merely reporting the facts. Exactly. But people did take umbrage to it. We, sort of, we started seeing a lot of people independently going, hey, don't you reckon that this Nick fellow yeah. could have been... Perhaps not, because we asked him, you know, you're not cheating. And he said, no, I'm not cheating. <laughs> and che- that's usually, that's we're happy with that. <laughs> yeah. And But a few people said, started raising the question of perhaps imagining how they would do it and mm. going, there could be a loophole here. Can I read you a subreddit here, Ham? Yeah. Never been on it, but it's it's fascinating. So the special, the, the heading, the title of it, it's a special skills guy on F100 was absolutely cheating. Wow. And this is where everyone will jump in. Unproven, that is no, it's exactly. slander. That is that's slander. allegedly. That's allegedly. Someone's written, he missed the fourth on purpose because he knew he was always going to get a coin. I want Hamish's truth eagle to fly in and shoot lasers of justice out of its eyes. Don't worry, it's it's jumping at the bit. It's, the truth eagle asked me this morning to take its hood off and I said, <laughs> wait, there's a process. 
Another one wrote, we need Hamish Nanny to launch a royal commission into the special skill cheating. Mm-hmm. Has it happened before? Will it happen again? So this is how yeah. rumors... So people are sort of going, yeah. you don't stamp this out and you send a clear message to the mm. community that you can you can weasel us out of a coin. Someone wrote, speaking as a previous H&A coin winner... There's not many. I want to issue an in full investigation. Wow. To the full extent of the law. Oh. <laughs> wow. Because it is a bit more common for someone to stand up and go, I call for a partial investigation to 60% of the law. <laughs> yeah. But this is 100% of both. Person, another person, a person that wouldn't be upset if the truth eagle went a little further than the full extent of the law. <laughs> and sometimes it does. Sometimes it's got to break some rules to make some rules. Then uh, a reply to that was, wouldn't be mad if the song sleuth got involved. I'm not yeah, sure if he's relevant. Right. So <laughs> they're basically asking for all our detective personas <laughs> to engage in this operation. Now, that would be a lynching. Yeah. Now, if we just unleashed the truth eagle and the song sleuth <laughs> and the inquisition yeah. um, emu and all the other all the other animals we've got at our disposal, yes. at our disposal, disposal, that would just be a mess. Hmm. There is a process. Yes. And uh, uh, look, we we received so many bits of, inf- um, of feedback about this. We said, all right, we've got to do something. For the first time ever, we're not saying this is up there with the coughing on who wants to be a millionaire cheating scandal, no. but for the first time ever, we might have something mm. that is approaching that level. Worth a probe. Worth a probe. Now, we went, how do we do this again? Back when we invented the Hamish and Andy coin a couple of years ago, yes. it was initially it was my gift to the to you, yes. and I, the analog coin to, to, to take the power back from the digital currencies. <laughs> And when I when we minted the Hamish Nandy coin, yep. not cheap, no, I, I wrote up a charter, a constitution. That's right. Now, remember, I spent all summer doing it, yes. hundreds and hundreds of pages. Yes. And I remember writing in there, what a, what's our dispute process? Okay. Uh, what, and I found the chapter. I found okay. the relevant chapter. <laughs> pleases the court. Okay, good, good. <laughs> I'll hand it to you. I've oh, just okay. printed out one page because obviously I'm not going to bring Thank the you. entire constitution. Yes. <laughs> This is good. I mean, it's nice to have a refresher. I haven't yeah. looked back at it since. I appreciate then. you reading it at the time, but there's no way you could have. I mean, it's thousands of chapters. H and A coin dispute procedure. In the event the awarding of a coin is called into question by enough people, the Hamish Nanny Central Bank will take the immediate step of freezing that coin's unique coin number or UCN, UCN yep. located on the back of the coin. And that has happened. Wow. So at the moment, Nick's coin has been frozen. <laughs> <laughs> which he would have noticed had he gone to use it today. Yes. There will then be a tribunal hearing yep. where members of the listening audience will have their chance to air their suspicions and, their, and the defendant a chance to answer. Oh, that's nice. That's, today. that's fair. This is not a witch hunt. Merely a chance to have all the facts on the table. The goal is to come to a resolution that is agreeable by all parties, listeners, defendant and Hamish and Andy. We've all got to be satisfied with the tribunal hearing. Yep. If clear to the charges, the UCN will be unfrozen. That would be nice. Then we yeah. could all go about our business. Yep. However. If no resolution is come to, the tribunal hearing will then proceed to one of two options. If Hamish Nenny still believe the defendant's claims are innocent, yet need more proof, the next step is a formal grilling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which we are not at yet. No. I want to stress we're not at a formal Four, grilling no. yet, but that's in the event that we go, well, Nick, we still think you're innocent. Yeah, but the others, but you haven't done enough. We haven't come to an agreement. The yep. listeners don't, and then we move to a formal grilling. At a formal grilling, the defendant will be subjected to more firm but fair probing by <laughs> Hamish and Andy in the pursuit of truth. Yep. If, however, Hamish and Andy doubt the defendant's innocence, but yep. the defendant still proclaims it, we move to option two. A witch hunt. <laughs> and that this oh, is where geez. we have Nick going, yep. I'm innocent, I'm innocent, and you and I are beginning to suspect not. Yep. That's when we enact a witch hunt. Which I don't think we've done for hundreds of years. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't, but it's in the Constitution. Yes. In a witch hunt, the defendant is given scant chance to defend <laughs> themselves. <laughs> and Hamish Nanny allowed free and total reign to present any argument. You don't want to be in a you witch hunt, right, from memory. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I mean, this just outlines what we all suspect. No matter how flimsy that results in the complete destruction of the defendant's claims of innocence. Yeah. No one wants a witch hunt, but it is an option in the process. Wow. So we yes. have, those are the processes. Yep. We've got to follow them. Um, yep. We've got a formal complaint. We now move to the tribunal hearing. Yeah, let's step it back two rungs. Right back to the tribunal <laughs> hearing, which is just a firm uh, and fair yeah. presentation of the facts. Of course, we believe Nick's innocent. Nick, ahoy to you. Ahoy, Nick. You join us now. You've just heard these charges for the first time. How are you, Nick? Oh, hello, boys. Yeah, yeah, I'm well. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, Feeling, I mean, obviously, no one wants to hear that they've been dragged into a tribunal hearing. <laughs> What's your initial gut reaction? 
I'm a bit shocked, really. Um, didn't expect it. Um, yeah. Thought the thought the fellow podcasters would have my back, but obviously not. Sure, it's a dog eat dog world out no, there. No. Sometimes looking at your back with a knife. <laughs> yeah, they've got to, they've got your back in their sights. <laughs> Um, well, uh, Haim, you obviously know the charter better than I, but in this, do we, do you have... Well, the th- we, we, we simply ask Nick, I mean, just for the record, how do you plead? I'd like to plead the fifth. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> so, so that's no comment rather than an innocent or a guilty. I should point out at this stage... That's not great. Um, it won't be, it will <laughs> not be received kindly. By the listeners who I don't are, think you can plead the fifth on a guilty on the pl- on Yeah, the plea. I don't think you can plead. Yeah, I don't think you can remain quiet on the actual plea. You can then plead the fifth after the plea. We will need sort of a it's more of a binary situation with the plea, a bit of a bit of a guilty or not guilty. Nick, do you want to plead guilty or not guilty? I'll plead not guilty. Hmm. Fantastic. Tell you what, I had his back. I like not in Leading my side. The fifth off pleading, straight off the bat, bat was an interesting he, he, head fake. Uh, <laughs> Jack joins us. Who's the first witness? <laughs> Jack, you are a member of the listening public. Uh, you were one of the people that brought to our attention that you mm-hmm. smell a or perhaps several rats mm-hmm. in Nick's uh, skill. Jack, what would you like to say? Ah, uh, boys, last week. Uh, I was listening to the hundredth episode, and you know what they say in the podcast world: you only, you only get one one hundredth episode. And uh, yep. what about Nick just then, pretending like he's one of us? He said you know, he thought the people would have his back. Nick, you're not one of us. <laughs> okay, okay. Simon, I should re- remind you: this is just a tribunal hearing. We are not at a formal grill again. <laughs> no, that was getting close to that witch hunt. Getting close to witch hunt. <laughs> it's, it's just hard, like when you're trying to sleep at night yep. all week and. Yep. You're just picturing Nick's, Nick's smug face when he gets off yep. the phone. So, the so, Jack, what do you think he's done? Well, if I was going to do it, I'd go through the episodes, I'd write down uh, the name of the person, mm. what their special skill was, mm. what episode number it was on. And the way you boys played the game was he, there was a 10 to 15 second little like clip. Mm. So you'd play a little bit of it, then there'd be like a little bit of, little bit of chat. Mm. And he had, he had at least 25 seconds on every one to scan, go, yep, that's the episode number. And... Yeah, yeah, he, he should have ample time. Now, uh, Jack, uh, sorry, so Jack, we require administration skills, not necessarily a special yeah, skill. Yeah, this is data it. entry yeah. and fast searching. <laughs> <She's> a <laughs> skill, <laughs> but it's not, you're certainly not a low level X man. Jack, we didn't hear any typing on the keyboard. Mm. He wouldn't need a type, he would have written it down beforehand. Visual so scanning. Yeah, visual scanning. It's just on a piece of paper, you just write, yeah. you just literally yeah. write episode Grid, number, name of person, special skill. It's yeah. easy. Utilize the good form. Thank you, Jack. Yeah, uh, and he raised a good point there about the 100th episode. You know, yeah. That's, that was our one shot. Yeah. You're only as good as your last 100th episode. <laughs> um, now, Ham, hey, what happens now? Does Nick reply to that? I think uh, it's well, in Nick, the rules. Nick, I guess we ask you, is that what you did? I'd love to reply to that. Yeah. I feel like it would be impractical to go through all those podcasts again and write them out. And plus, I didn't hear the segments when we're talking on the phone. That is true, That's actually, You actually can't Jack, hear it. We, we, we put in the uh, the little snip bit. The, yep. uh, we couldn't get it working. Bit, sorry. Of, That's of, true. Of, I remember the day. Yeah, it was, of, there was a storm. There was an electrical storm. <laughs> <laughs> we put in the little grab of the previous episodes after the fact. So Nick did answer a lot quicker. Maybe that's, that's why people are thinking he had a lot more time to cheat than he did. Uh, off to Matt. Matt, um, Matt, ahoy to you. Ahoy. Ahoy, ahoy Andy. Uh, ahoy, Hamish, and ahoy, Jack. How are you? Very uh, good, sir. Nick here, obviously, on trial. You didn't get to hear that, but uh, the first member of the public was saying you had plenty of time to be able to guess or look up some kind of sheet. Hamish and I had to come clean there to say we inserted the little flashback grab of audio from the episode after the podcast. So Nick would have had far less time. But Matt, Do you think he still time. could have cheated, Matt? I, I still believe he could have cheated, yes. Mm. yes. Yeah. Matt, I believe your argument, because I'm just looking at your email here, you think he yeah. did use the processing power of a personal computer powering Microsoft's famous Excel spreadsheet program. <laughs> Excel's the way to go, baby. <laughs> As um, Bill Gates said on the launch day. <laughs> <laughs> look, I, I, look, I will assert, and look, hats off, hats off to the defendant. If he has found a loophole and got through, well done. I, I dipped my lip to him. Hmm. But um, if you control F and, and type in the first name or, or such, it will instantly take you to the to the row that you need. Um, so with the playback, if you if you're saying the name and you type and, and just say it is 
uh, Sam, and you type in Sam, it will instantly take you to that row. So you do, you don't need a lot of time. Yeah. Um, and, and there was a little bit of padding at the padding at the beginning as well. So yeah. did we name the? Did we say that the the person that had done the skill at the start? Did we say? You gave oh, the person. You gave the person's name. You gave the specific skill that they had. Mm. Um, and then, then there was a little bit of time where, where um, oh, Nick Matt. would sort of pad it out. Matt, thank you. Uh, Nick, first question from me. Do you have Microsoft Excel? I do have Microsoft Excel. Oh, that's, that's, that's a rough question. That's, that is a, that's a circumstantial Ooh. trap. Um, objection irrelevant. No, no, actually, um, overruled. That is relevant. It's I'll relevant. allow it. <laughs> it's but relevant. Nick, it's, it's, not a, it's not a smoking gun. But... No, but did you, did you do that, Nick? So what you're suggesting is that I went through every single podcast in the time that you rang me to say I was going to be on the podcast Mm -hmm. and wrote them all down, the whole 99 of them, Mm. and put whether they were successful or not, and the episode number. Are you answering a question with a question, Nick? (laughs) (laughs) So, Nick, you're suggesting you're too lazy to do that. Yes. All right. I will say this, Nick. A lot of the time in the magic world, uh, the solution to an illusion, like a trick is like, well, there's no way that could have happened mm. because, to you know, let's say to make a bus disappear, you'd have to have a, the biggest mirror in the world, <laughs> you know, <laughs> couldn't do it. And that is often the solution. <laughs> they, you've, they've just gone and done the thing Got that you would mirror. think <laughs> that they would never do. Uh, finally, James uh, in this tribunal hearing. James, ahoy to you. Hi, right, fellas. How you going? Sorry, Hi, James. Um, sorry about the wait, mate. Welcome to court, James. You uh, also, you know, suspicions were rife uh, on Nick's skill for you. What, what are you basing your suspicions on? Well, I actually, um, so at my job, I can listen to podcasts a lot of the time. So <laughs> recently, I've just been going back over the podcast. So I'm, I'm up to date as it is. Nice. So, um, Thank you, mate. Yeah, so I've gone... I've gone back and I was, I think I'm at about number 13 now. Mm-hmm. And um, I just sort of thought around five or six, I was like, you know what? To, a good way to get on the show would be, you know, a bit meta and come in with, uh, with the skill that he had. And I got to about 13 and I, I'd, I'd been writing them down. So you had the idea. Right. So we've, we're using a, a hacker here to catch a hacker. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. Uh, I've got to think like a killer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the same way as uh, Jodie Foster went and chatted yeah. to Anthony Hopkins in Silence of the Lambs. Big time. Uh, um, <laughs> James, so you think you are going to do this and you, you think, you assert that Nick's beaten you to it. Yeah, he's beaten me to it and, and it was just like I was thinking about it this morning and I'm up to 13 and, and I'm not sure that I could even do it with just the first first 13 to be honest. Right, in your head. Okay, so oh, so you weren't going to cheat. You just wanted to try and do it. Oh, no, I was definitely going to cheat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate sure. you coming before the court today uh, to say that. And But you were going to cheat, and are you saying you then realised it's hard to cheat? Yeah, it's, like, too hard. So, like, I, I think if you guys gave me the test right now, even on the first 13, I probably couldn't even get it right. So you're actually a, you're a witness here for the defendant. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> This is the sloppiest court proceeding of all time. I mean, okay. it's not. It's a tribunal hearing. Well, that well, is that, a great that, twist in the tale. It is. Now, Nick, you've got to be wrapped with that, that <laughs> someone that's come to testify against you has actually stood up and proclaimed your innocence. Yeah, no further questions for him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, well, we're, okay, we've heard we've heard from the people. I think we've, we've heard from there. Nick. Um, um, I think... I think I'm going to go out on a limb here and, and presume that to the listeners listening to this now... I don't think they would rate Nick as completely unslippery. Do we get him on a lie detector? Interesting. I was going to say, I, I don't think we've solved this. No. Because Nick's kept his innocence there. I, I don't think we've got enough to convict him. I Definitely do not. think we progress to the next level. Now, is that is that formal grilling or I should we... Think I think my vote would be we progress Nick to a formal grilling <laughs> <laughs> from here. And, and a lie detector could very well be part of that because it says in the Constitution, Andy... Yeah. Um, we will be. He will. will subject him to more firm but fair probing. Now, I, right, I yeah. would interpret that as using any means necessary. Nick, a question: Will you be prepared to take a lie detector? Yes, I would be. Whoa, that's fantastic. <laughs> He's happy. Okay, because okay. I think I think yeah. I just think you know, pleading the fifth to start yep. with was weird. answering the question with the question. Yeah. Um, a lot of his defences were, you're telling me I went to all this effort to jump you out of a coin, as if I could be bothered. Yes. Which could be throwing us off. I think. 
from that kind of presentation, we can't mm. completely acquit it. Okay. I think there'll be some people going, you've got a light covering of soap on you. You're a little <laughs> bit slippery. Not the slipperiest guy in the world, but you was a little bit slippery. Uh, Nick, clear your calendar for next week. We're going to take this up again with you. This sounds good. We are progressing to formal <laughs> grilling. I hope to God it doesn't end in a witch hunt. <laughs> And uh, mm. um, Mike, since you're here as presiding judge, uh, we are in the middle of a build-up to a formal grilling. That's right. We we touched on this two weeks ago. It in the, with the excitement of the lolly cards and stuff. It was didn't worth. It wasn't didn't feel right going on a downer. We we want people to know <clears throat> that we are obviously still investigating the cheating scandal from episode 100. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have not come to a conclusion. We no. the tribunal hearing uh, was not deemed conclusive, which no. means we do move to a formal grilling. The formal grilling will not be on this episode. We looked for a. Human lie detector. Still did, looking. She didn't pass muster? No. Um, but, uh, yeah, what's, what's the latest there? Here? Well, as we build up to the formal grilling, mm. uh, which is when we will have Nick back on, who it, Nick is, char- he is charged, not by us, no. but by the people, the listeners of yep. the podcast. He's charged with um, having some level of either spreadsheet or computer-aided searchability. Is that your understanding of the charges, Mark? I mean, you're across this stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of people writing in and, like, he he could have searched the podcast yeah. app and things mm. like that. But, Plenty of yeah. options available. For to his him. special to skill, his claimed special skill of being able to know um, what each special skill was in every episode and if that skill was successful or not and what episode that skill appeared in. So mm. maybe that was a clue to that he had, like, a three-way way of, of displaying his skill mm. sort of stinks of searchability. Uh, like we said, we believe Nick at this stage. We yeah. have to, Ando. Yeah. <clears throat> because well, the whole, whole show is based on you know, the honesty system. And he's got a coin that has been frozen at mm. the moment. He's not able to... Remember, remember one of the show policies we can't dupe us, in, except for in the duping game. Yep. And that, I hope that hasn't been broken. Mm. A lot of things are coming to light as we prepare for the formal grilling. Um, I would like to bring something to the table. It's a bit of a lengthy email, but I think it's important as okay. we look at who um, Nicholas Mullen is as a human being. As <laughs> okay, a person. okay. So this is it's a character a deeper dive. Okay, so great. this is this is from um, a young man called David David Brankalion, mm. a, uh, a valued and then respected member of the uh, podcasting community, who went to school with um, Nicholas Mullen. Yes. So he, he put this forth as a character reference. He goes, look, I'm writing in regards to the current scandal unfolding with the H&A coin, the special skill, special skill scandal, which mm-hmm. are now be referred to as the SSSSS. Okay. Five S's. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to put a character reference for the defendant, Nick, Nick Nicholas Mullen. Mm-hmm. Um, I was in the same class as Nick during the years 2000 to 2006. So fairly hefty. He's a lot of time yeah, to observe, yeah, Nick. absolutely. Um, I've attached photo evidence which is a school photo mm. of grade one from 2001 <laughs> without Nicholas Mullen in it, but he does highlight in red, absent Nicholas Mullen. <laughs> <laughs> he, goes, he goes, this clearly paints a picture of a weasel yeah. getting out of school photo day. Okay. Must be very nice. <laughs> so at that stage, I'm like, well. I loved school photo day. Though. Yeah, we're reaching a bit here, aren't yeah. we? To go, you know, because this kid wasn't in his year one photo, he'll grow up to be yeah, a to jammer. Jesus. Yeah. Um, but he continues. He goes, look, I remember an incident. When I was at Nicholas's house for a sleepover, we took out his electric scooters. Brackets must be very nice for a ride. <laughs> yeah. I crashed and did some damage to the scooter. When we returned home, Nick's father asked about the damage, to which Nick replied that he had crashed the scooter. Mm. Nick's father saw the scratches on my arms, and we all knew that Nick was lying. Whilst he was noble for covering for me, that does not take away from the fact that he is a liar. <laughs> <laughs> so at first reading this, I was like, okay, he's painting the picture here of a nobleman, but no, he's trying to throw Nick under the bus as a wow. liar. But I mean, he lied for noble reasons. Yes. Funnily enough, when you say character reference, I always thought it was going to be glowing, but I suppose you can get people <laughs> like up to, to have a go at the end. I'd like yeah. to submit a character reference yeah. for the, for the yeah. prosecution. Yeah. Uh, uh, example two. I gave Nick my favourite necklace. It had green and black beads and a cool pendant for $8, that except he cool. didn't have the money. He was going to give it to me the next day. I believed him because I thought Nick was my friend. Nick never gave me any money. Oh. He is a liar. <laughs> okay, that one's, that's more evidence. And this is all alleged, though. I mean, we don't know yeah. um, if David, if that, that's David Brunker Lyons version of events. I'd be <laughs> yeah, interested yeah. to get Nicholas Mullins version of events. Yeah. But the $8 deficit remains for the, for the necklace. necklace. This is the, um, <laughs> this is, I mean, I think, I feel like he saved item number three here to oh, like, this is the knockout. Mm-hmm. 
Finally, I was lucky enough to go out with Nick and his father on their boat. Must be very, very, (laughs) very nice. We cruised the harbour and docked at the beach where his father presented us with some salad sandwiches for lunch. Mm -hmm. We took them and went for a walk on the rocks and neither one of us really wanted to eat the salad sandwiches. When we were out of sight of his dad, Nick suggested that we throw the sandwiches away. (laughs) We did. Upon returning to the beach, Nick's dad asked how the sandwiches were. Nick said that they were delicious. (laughs) So back you, wow. that's it. That gives you an idea of who wow. we're dealing with yeah. here. A man that would that would incorrectly say a salad sandwich was delicious <laughs> when we know for a fact he didn't eat it. Never touched his lips. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Well, that definitely means we should go forth with a formal grilling. I think so. Um, I think so. Now I, look, I assume Nicholas will hear this. He might present a defence. Yep. But um, I, think, I felt like I had to be floated. Yeah, that, well, I, rather than a defence to those actions, because we can't have a tribunal within a tribunal. <laughs> we I can't, think, I we can't go chasing the eight bucks <laughs> for the necklace or the salad sandwich stuff. But if he would like to suggest someone to give him a positive um, I'd character I'd be reference, very open for hearing that. that, that I think that's I think, fair I think that's actually what he has to do now, is he has yeah. to come up with someone to come forward to give three glowing examples of him from his childhood. Yes, okay, great. And then we'll, after that, yeah. we'll see where we take this thing. <laughs> Hame, I mean, it's hard to come out of such fun in the show yeah, and then to have to get real serious well, with uh, the ongoing look into going for a formal grilling. The episode 100, quote unquote, potential cheating scandal. Yes. Um, we are still assessing as to whether or not Nick had access to a spreadsheet, mm. a searchable database, yep. an earpiece. Who knows? A code. Some, yeah, someone coughing. A time machine. In, for the, so, yeah, for someone the right coughing. Clues. Um, an, uh, an ant sneezing in his ear or something. <laughs> we don't know how he did it. We don't know if he did it, but the allegations were there that he cheated in his special skill in episode 100. He joins us back now. He joins us back now. Nick. Nick. Ahoy. Ahoy, boys. Ahoy, Nick. How's this difficult time been for you? It's been real tough. I've had to uh, I know, stay away from um, the paparazzi outside my house mm. and, and the scary Reddit pages. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, they've, they've, they've I mean that's where a lot of this surfaced first. Jack yep. plums the depths of Reddit. Yep. Yeah, uh, it's H&A horrifying stuff in there. Subreddit and that's really where that's where you get your most sort of yep. you wildest theories fly around, but sometimes the wildest theories can be the truest. Yep. Um Nick, as we contemplated a formal grilling. Yeah, we're, we're, we haven't got to that step yet. We're Nick, going you may have heard last week but you weren't on. Yeah. That we uh had a um someone give a character reference with, about you. Have you heard that yet, Nick? Yeah, I listened to it. Um, do you remember the sandwich incident? Uh, I do not remember it, but it, I think that makes me look like a good bloke. Well, yeah, he did state, your friend uh, <laughs> stated that um, you threw away the salad sandwiches um, that, your when dad your dad, you, that your dad made. Um, and do you think saying to your dad, yeah, they were delicious, even though you threw them away, <laughs> makes you sensitive to your dad's feelings? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, same, mate. I, mean, I was just trying to understand how throwing away a salad sandwich is a heinous act, especially after a dad has gone to so much effort. Yeah. Could make you look like a good bloke. But, I mean, your friend really was Adam and he was really trying to paint you as a scandal. Um, and mainly the fact that you lied. As a snake dad, in the grass. Yeah, you have a you saying you, you needed to lie for good reasons. Uh, you, We asked you um, over the last week to bring your own character reference to the show. It's only fair. After that was an attack on your character last week, you've chosen your mum, and she joins us now. Leonie, ahoy to you. Ahoy, boys. Sorry ahoy, about Leone. this, Leonie. It mustn't be fun to mm. have a son that's going through something like this. Oh, I know. Very stressful. Yeah. Stressful yeah. time. We hope to get through it as fast as possible. We've obviously yeah. got uh, formal proceedings and procedural things we have to go through here. We can't just, you know... Would be it's not the 1600s. We can't mm. just immediately go. He's a witch. Burn him or mm. no, no. He's a wizard. <laughs> yeah. Set him free. <laughs> yeah. The two, op- the two <laughs> options. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we do have to go through the right steps. We uh, um, we've had our um, and we've had our initial inquiries, but we're heading towards a formal grilling yep. to decide if we go to a formal grilling. Uh, as Andy mentioned, it's time we hear a few character references. Mm. Leone, um, for Nick. do you feel just and obviously as a mother, do you feel like the process has been fair so far? Oh, I guess so. He's a big boy. He can handle himself. Yes, mm. good. Um, so you, we've got uh, a character reference from you that I'm going to read out, but before I go into it, I just need to know, um, would you swear that you wrote this and it was submitted by yourself? Absolutely. 
Fantastic. Great. Thank you so much, okay. Leonie. Thanks, Leonie. Um, to whom it may concern, re can it Nicholas be trusted? Yes, that's really there's, the question. There's three dot points, Ham. This one's under family. Being a country family, we love our barbecues. Right. No one wants a crapped over cooked steak. You it's got that right, Leonie. We, the family, completely trust Nick to cook the perfect steak. Raised in a house full of girls, he can also be 100% trusted to always put the toilet seat down. I equally 100% trust that Nick at all times will bring home a huge load of dirty washing home when he visits from uni. No, that's trustworthy. That's good trustworthiness <laughs> it's, written all over it. three examples of him being reliable. Um, this is with regards to mates. So, Leone, is this your take on his relationship with his mates? Yes. Mm-hmm. An interesting glimpse, though, into the life of Nick. So, obviously, at home, heavy meat eaters. Mm. Better day out on the boat, salad sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's obviously <laughs> feasting. <laughs> He's the kind of, kind of animal that will feast on me yeah. in his home, save the safety of his house, yeah. but away. But maybe, maybe that's way through the mouth. Yeah. Maybe he's only a carnivore. <laughs> um, Leonie has this to say in the mates category. Nick can always be relied on to escort, carry, or even drag his sometimes under the weather housemates to safety. His mates fully trust that Nick will get them where they need to be, to, uh, to be and, and where they're required to be, whether it be physically for the night out or motivationally in the early morning lecture or workout the next day. Wonderful. Okay. So he's a leader. Yeah. Okay. This is on education. Highly trusted by teachers, students, and teammates, Nick was elected student rep, school captain, captain of the footy team, captain state debate team. Wow. And that's a state champion. State champion debater. Yeah. Oh, geez. Pick the, pick the wrong guy here to level allegations against. <laughs> he has for many years acted as a trusted mentor and tutor for younger students, providing encouragement support with a trustworthy ear. In summary, mm. in all honesty, Nick has never really given me any reason not to trust him. He was never one of those sneaky, shitty kids. <laughs> <laughs> and I've always trusted him 100%. Hard work, humour, confidence and honesty all make Nick who he is. Wonderful I'm reference. his mum. I should know. Oh, jeez. Powerful at the end, isn't Really it? powerful. We should have swirling music we behind will. that. We, 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 we <laughs> did have that, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> now that I think about it. Yes, we did. I'm yes. glad we put that music there. Um, and... Uh, <clears throat> And Nick and Leone. First of all, Leone, congratulations. Those were beautiful words. Any son would be so proud to have a mum say that about them. Mm. Um, well written, Leone. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> um, Nick, we have presented to us a very, very different young man than the man of the salad sandwich incident <laughs> last week. I'm still surprised his dad made him a salad sandwich. Yeah, so that might have not even... <laughs> Yeah, that right. might, yeah, so in, in your experience, um, Nick's dad wouldn't make a salad sandwich. He'd put some kind of meat in it. Oh, definitely. So you can hang that. You, that's were you surprised to hear, Leone, that Nick threw the sandwiches away and then told his dad flat out they were delicious? No, I'm not surprised about that because he wouldn't want to hurt anyone's feeling. Yeah, this is nice what, place. this is, don't get me wrong, these are lovely sentiments, mm. but I'd like to highlight, if I could, the mm. difference between somebody that always tells the truth mm-hmm. and somebody that gets what has to be done, done. Mm-hmm. They're not necessarily the same thing. No. Now, somebody that does what it takes mm. to achieve an outcome mm. is not the same as telling the truth. Mm. That's somebody that stands up and goes, I'll do what it takes. Yeah. If dad, I don't hurt dad's feelings, I'll do what it takes. But I, 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 I want to get my mates somewhere, I'll do what it takes to get them. He's trustworthy. Yeah. I'm the captain of the footy team. Mate, we'll do what it takes. Yeah. Doesn't always imply... A hundred percent truth telling. Mm. Next, Jack's nodding. I've won over one <laughs> member of the jury here. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Do you know what I mean? Well, I think if if I just feel that if Jack's dad sat him down and said, "Now, mate, did you really eat the sandwich?" Mm. <laughs> I think Jack. That's when Jack would go. Oh, look, no, I was just trying to. And Jack or Nick? Nick. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, Nick. I was like, <laughs> Jack would. Who's Jack? <laughs> so, yeah, great question. Only <laughs> <Jack. laughs> the sixth most important. <laughs> <laughs> He's number six. Number six. Sarah, Sarah, you know who number Sarah six and Nick on the team. Bike are. Yeah, and Jez. Um, anyway, I was, if sorry, if Nick, if, if if sorry, Nick's dad sat it down and said, he, if he called him on it, if he called him on it, I reckon Nick would come clean. Yeah. Um, and it seems to be the way that's been happening. 
Look, let's put them I'm both saying, on hold. Let's put them both on hold for a second and Haim and I have a clear sight. Well, we, I'm we, just we, saying, we've got a situation here where we've got a guy that's outstanding in his field and mm. he gets the job done. That's debating. Debating is just you just grab at any old argument yep. to try and get the win. If, but you don't give, you don't let the, the school captain um, to be that student and are you rep. telling me that every elected government official is there for honesty? They're there because they get the job done. <laughs> I mean, wake up, buddy. Wake up. That's, that's politics. Okay. So okay. what I think we might have here is an outstanding operator. Mm. What we don't know is if he decided, I want that coin, mm. and he devised the best way to get it. He's, he's results driven. We don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've we've always, from the outset, we've always backed Nick's innocence. So, so I'm just saying this this evidence paints a go getter, yep. paints a good friend and a good son and a good brother, mm-hmm. but it doesn't not necessarily paint a man that's not yep. that wouldn't know, wouldn't yep. wouldn't think twice about doing what he had to do to get the job done. Um, How about this? Okay. I think what Nick needs at the moment mm. is proper legal defence. <laughs> Now, you know in movies, you know in movies yes. where they go, I think we're heading towards a formal grilling. I'll okay. say that up front. You know in movies where they and go, I think it's if, you ca- if you can't provide a lawyer, one will be provided for you by the state. Mm. I reckon we, pr- let's get him a lawyer. A proper lawyer? A proper lawyer. Let's in get fact, him in here. If you are, maybe if there's a proper lawyer that listens to the show mm-hmm. and you'd like to represent, represent Nick, Nick, pro bono, pro bono <laughs> in a formal grilling, because as this, I read through the constitution again, all formal grillings yeah, must have a have lawyer, a lawyer present. present. And I'll say this. We want the most expensive lawyer that listens to the show. Yeah. So you got to email us and go, I'm a lawyer and I charge this much per hour. Yeah. Now, obviously, you would waive that for us, but we're just using that to rank you. Yeah, good idea. So we're going to, we might get a QC. Probably. (laughs) Let's bring him back. uh, Hey, guys, good news and bad news. Um, What would you like to hear first, Nick? Uh, The good news. Good news is that um, we're going to get you a lawyer. Oh, yes. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that the expression of an innocent man? <laughs> We're getting you, Nick. <laughs> this is not in the grilling. <laughs> this, this is, is pre-grilling, by the way, Nick. But we are heading to a formal grilling, yep. and we do think we've got a duty of care over you here to protect your rights mm. and innocent to a proven guilty. What we thought we'd do is we, we're going to appoint you a lawyer. Anyone listening to the show now, we encourage them to contact us, hamishandy.com. If they're a lawyer, we want the most expensive lawyer yep. that listens to the show who would at the same time be willing to represent you pro bono. Yes. So you come into the studio, they come into the studio. Um, restrictions, we might have whatever the COVID restrictions are, we'll do it in a COVID safe way. Yep. We'll probably do it on Zoom, actually. Yep. And they will direct our formal grilling questions to your lawyer. Mm. You might not even have to say anything, Nick. If you do need to talk, you can just talk quietly to your lawyer. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> Leone, sorry it's gone to a formal situation. But, I will uh, say this, though, Leone, it was your words that, I mean, kept this thing afloat. Yeah. Um, you mean you, you, we don't dispute any of what you've put forward. Mm. We just need to really drill down on what the hell went wrong <laughs> or right on episode 100. Beautiful. You do what you have to do, boys. Yeah, yeah thanks, Appreciate Leone. that, Leone. Appreciate <laughs> <laughs> and in, 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 the, in the words of a wise woman, who's Jack? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm an ongoing saga that we're forced to come back to mm. reluctantly, of course, because we're about uppers in this show, and this one is certainly a downer. Would but you say it's well? It's a weight on the show. And yeah. If there's, if there's one thing the Wright brothers taught us, yeah. just before they took off on their famous flight in the Kitty Hawk, mm. and they yelled out, "Hey, someone get that anvil off the plane <laughs> because <laughs> you can't get airborne with something weighing you down." Yeah. yeah. And that turned out to be quite one of their more famous quotes. It's a. It, it, that's true. It's a also a cloud it. over the show, isn't it? It's a cloud, and they also said. <laughs> Oh, well, why don't we wait for this storm to pass yes. and it'll give us time to unstrap the anvil. So, and so both of those things, I think, helped that initial flight for the Wright brothers. And that's and what we, we need, do. We need to get rid of a cloud. We need to unstrap and, an anvil. And we need to unstrap an anvil. And the anvil, of course, is this the cheating scandal. That's the cloud that's hanging over us. Yeah, the scandal the, anvil. The, the, the And the scandal anvil is, we don't know what it's made of. It could be made of lead. It could be, really be an anvil that is weighing us down 
or it could be a hilarious film prop <laughs> that's made of styrofoam yeah. and, in fact, would have been a funny thing to take on your maiden flight on Kitty Hawk. So for people seeing the right ones going, gee, they're doing it with an anvil. And it's like, ah, just Joshua with you guys. Yeah, that's a film Straight prop. Painted. Straight from Hollywood. Uh, um, anyway, Nick joins us again now. Nick, apologies to you as well, mate. It's obviously ahoy to you and uh, it's obviously been dragging on. Yeah, ahoy, boys. It is going for a bit. I just want to... Just want to get my innocence out there. Yep. You know? Well, it has only dragged on for 10% of the total time we've ever done the podcast. <laughs> well, I suppose it's pretty, <laughs> suppose it's pretty long. <laughs> I suppose it's getting to the stage um, of a long drag on now. But people joining the show right now, Nick uh, showed his special skill of being able to recall every special skill that we've tested on this show and whether they got it right or wrong. Celebrated episode um, 100 with it. Yes. He has since uh, it was challenged as to whether he was cheating with some kind of spreadsheet. Sheet. Maybe yeah. he used the app. Uh, Nick, where we are at, the, at, at this stage is we haven't gone to a formal grilling, yep. um, which is the, uh, the, the, the next step in the process, um, but we offered you a chance to find you a lawyer, and that's why we wanted to get you back on today. <laughs> Did we find one? Nick, we had some great we had some great contact from lawyers. Mm. Uh, I'll just kick things off here with a with Jordan who writes in as a professional lawyer. So already you get the vibe that he's a lawyer. That sounds lawyerish. I have grave concerns over the legality of the con- of the conduct in episode one hundred and one of the Hamish and Andy podcast, and then he gives dates. It's all very kind of like he's wow. giving evidence. Um, with the tribunal phase of the hearing complete, I feel obliged to inform you of the necessary conduct for a fair trial henceforth. The defendant Nick must be allowed access to a duty lawyer, which is which the court must provide. I mm-hmm. guess that's us. Um, and if he cannot provide one due to his own financial hardship, or which we've said all this, we yep. can we can we can take care of this. He said, "Look, at the, he said to this point, proceedings have been shambolic." <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> and I have no confidence in this court to deliver a fast <laughs> and fair and just verdict with the threat of a formal grilling and a witch hunt looming. Yeah. The defendant must be allowed proper counsel. Is I he, support this. He's, he's not putting himself forward. He says, I'm not putting myself <laughs> forward. Just, just but I support the, the movement to okay. give him proper counsel. To have, and he says, you know, nobody wants to see an innocent man sent to death row. So, <laughs> wow. Jordan may, may be confusing this podcast mm. with another true crime one he's listening to at the same time. But, yeah, Nick, he's, everyone's in support of this. Okay, Nick, let me put some people to you, okay? And then you've got to yep. pick one. This is William. Okay, hasn't shortened his name. <laughs> he could go with Will, but no, William. So obviously he's very official. Is ahoy, boys. I'm a lawyer willing to represent Nick on the allegations of the special skill, the special skill coin fraud. Yeah. Not a fancy courtroom litigator like you see on TV. I've actually never represented a client in court. Mm. I'm more of a corporate mergers and acquisitions <laughs> type of guy. Well, I suppose we're hoping to merge your good name, Nick, with the concept of truth and justice. <laughs> so it is a merger of types. <laughs> Um, and look, he's confident that he can he can do the job still. Yeah. Um, it's just the kind of lawyer Nick needs to clear his name against these baseless allegations. He normally charges five hundred and thirty dollars per hour. Oh, must be nice. <laughs> but <laughs> must be very nice. But I'm willing to represent Nick for a token of no value and promises to not attribute any value to it. Kindest of regards, William, uh, special counsel of a large national law firm. He does sound. Honest, Nick. Mm. I mean, I've got one here from Fraser. Yep. Um, doesn't actually say he's a lawyer, um, but he puts forward a few defences, saying okay. Nick was called out of the blue. He didn't have time to prepare. didn't have time to, to prepare a reasonable yep. a reasonable defence. He said um, most of the evidence brought forth before the tribunal is character only, mm. character only, and it has no no bearing on uh, on what's actually on trial. Mm. He said he should not. Be trialed to the, the trial shouldn't be about whether about whether he's a devious or suspicious man. Hmm. The only job is to access, uh, is to assess. Sorry, the accused crime in isolation. I think that's I think that's fairly true. Yep. Then at the end he said, "Look, I'd be happy to represent Nick. Um, I would like to sue the Hamish and Andy show. Oh, should shit. we be found innocent <laughs> for an eight coin coin?" Then he writes. Octuple or nothing, you'll find is very common in law circles. <laughs> <laughs> I've not heard of octuple or nothing, yeah. but he puts forward he puts forward this concept of counter suing, which I don't think is fair because oh, I, I feel like we're trying to run a pretty fair trial here. Yeah, we, we well, hopefully Nick doesn't go with him. Um, what was his name? Um, that was Fraser. Nick Jake has also submitted. Hey guys, I'm a lawyer, got a degree in shit, and if you don't believe, me, <laughs> yeah, <I'm- laughs> that's fine. I can talk my way out of anything. So. That's his vibe. Uh, he goes on to say a few other things, but um, he says <laughs> he's also... big claims about 5G. <laughs> he also says that he's the world's most expensive lawyer, costing $1 billion an hour. Um, Jeez, and he's happy to do it for free for yeah. you, Nick. All right. <laughs> so, so that's Jake. Can I throw one more in the mix? Yep, okay. So at the moment we've got 
Um, guy not submitting himself. Fraser, I'm unsure if he's lawyer on my side of things. We've got the mergers and acquisitions guy. William, yep. Will, and we've got the lawyer Jake. and shit. Yeah. <laughs> this is from Chris. And the reason I leave it to last, not to lead the witness, but it was a very good application. Long-time listener, first-time emailer. I'm a lawyer of a top-tier firm in Melbourne. Hmm. And my currently hourly charge is $429 an hour. Must be slightly less nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like Nick, I was once put through a formal grilling where I was wrongly accused of cheating on a test. I was ambushed by my accusers and I was not offered legal representation. This experience is what inspired me to become a lawyer. God, this is... Over the years of listening is to the podcast... Is it just me or are we casting Will Smith as this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Over the years of listening to the podcast, I've noticed that Hamish is quite good legal mouse. Don't know how he got that. <laughs> and better than average Sustained. debating skills. <laughs> Therefore, when Nick was first accused of this crime and opted to do a no-comment interview, I knew this bloke needed a lawyer ASAP. <laughs> I see and hear a lot of myself in Nick. I feel that representing him at his formal grilling is why I became a lawyer. Hashtag free Nick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Nick, who you'd like to know. go with? I don't know, Nick. I like the guy that said I'm a lawyer and shit, but it's up to you. <laughs> yeah, well, the um, the potential counter suit was, was um, a bit appealing, but since I've heard Chris's, mm. I think – since he's got that shared experience, he'll have the passion yep. and the motivation to um, fully represent me. Yeah, great. So, we'll, we'll connect you two guys. Chris. Yep, we'll connect you. Uh, that's fantastic. We'll get we'll get straight onto this. And when now that we've got all the pieces in a row, mm. when is the formal grilling? Is it um, next week? So is is the lawyer representing him at the formal grilling? I believe so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's yeah. he's where the I guess where the barbecue. Yep. And the lawyer is um, the uh, well, I guess he's a heat shield. Yeah. Before, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And where we all have to... Is he a heat shield? Because we want to, we do want heat to be applied to Nick, Nick's the meat. <laughs> yes. And we're grilling him. Yeah. Uh, I guess the lawyer is the spatula. Yeah. Can yeah. save him <laughs> when he's done. <laughs> we'll work out the analogy, Nick. We'll yeah, chat I haven't soon. really thought that through when they uh, came up with the concept of grilling. <laughs> we're all in tuxedos, though. It's a formal grilling. It is a formal grilling. <laughs> Ahoy, Lawyer H. <laughs> your Honour. Uh, no, I mean, counsel. <laughs> yeah, Counselor. This is a big day. It is. Uh, are you are your Honour too. You're a judge as well in today's yes. show. Uh, jury Jack over there. Ahoy to you. Ahoy. And uh, look, as um, as Josh pointed out last week at the start, he said justice delayed is justice denied. He wanted it's to get true. a formal grilling of Nick, who had the incident uh, with regards to maybe or possibly cheating in episode 100. Finally. Um, Today, let let it wait no further. Yeah. Nick uh, has been on remand, a t- tough time for him. <laughs> He has been dragged up from the cells yep. to be placed in the in the dock. Yep. As today, his name hopefully gets cleared. I didn't mind you being the jury too, Jack. Would you be happy to be the whole jury? Well, th- that means I get final say, does it? A little bit, yeah. yeah. I think it's... <laughs> <laughs> Look how panicked you are. He doesn't want the responsibility. Yeah. Could I be more of a you vibe jury? jury? Yeah. Look, we're vibing innocent, Your Honour, but you're in here yeah. every day. You make the call. We, we, uh, what happens normally is the judge says to the jury, I suggest you do. You go with this. This is my call. Yep. And then the jury go and have a... Have a look. Yeah, the judge. The judge. Is there any times where no, they you... don't? What, in a court case, the judge goes, I suggest you find innocent. But anyway, who am I? To yeah, get in the way of things. They, they throw it. They throw it the out. The judge doesn't throw a suggestion, does he? I've never heard of that. Well, anyway, we've got a lawyer on the show, so we should <laughs> ask the lawyer. Else. Before we get to all that, we will delay justice. One oh, yeah, more we bit will delay it because we've got to hear from Sean. Yep. Ahoy, Andy. Ahoy, Haim. Uh, Sean here from Adelaide. Uh, Jacko. Now. You've been a bit disrespectful to the boys lately, including your um, little uh, hobby comment. Uh, I'd be careful because the boys might just get you to walk the plank. Boys, it might be time to teach uh, Hawks how to press some buttons because surely it's not that hard. And let's face it, Jack's been struggling with the new system. Anyway, boys, I love the podcast. Uh, I stumbled across it, went all the way back to the first, um, listened all the way through. I do, however, keep a couple up my sleeve uh, because if I'm having a shit day, there's nothing better than listening to you boys and, you know, it always cheers me up. So... Keep up the good work. Uh, hopefully one day we can catch up for a beer. But uh, let's face it, that's never going to happen. See you, boys. <laughs> wow. That is just what a flurry. Just a flurry of punches. Yeah. Uh, um, well, first of all, um, what a legend. Lovely. <laughs> uh, second of all, Jack, it started. It seemed like the focus initially was on you walking the plank. Yeah, I didn't know what. <laughs> which I guess was just you being fired. Yeah. But then it seemed to Unless pivot he's referring back to... To a long time ago, where Jack did have to—if he's just listened, we had we made Jack walk the plank, 
Did you? Did we? I think we did a witch test. Oh, you threw me in a pool. I guess that's like walking. <laughs> I don't think it was a plank though, was like, it? No, right? that was like a witch, witches don't float or witches yes. don't sink. Yeah. Or, well, why or they you, melt in water. Someone was suspecting that you were a witch. I can't remember that. Well, anyway. An interesting tangent because, you know, that was a witch hunt. That's what we're trying to avoid, avoid today yes, as yeah, we have Nick. Jack realises they're not very fair. <laughs> <laughs> Jack's experienced one himself. It wasn't pleasant. We've got Nick. On the phone, who was accused of cheating mm. 10 episodes ago. Nick, ahoy. Welcome back for the, your final, hopefully your final day clearing your name. Ahoy, boys. Yeah, the big day, hey? Yeah, this Huge is day. it. How's the, how's the trial nerves? Oh, uh, pretty nervous, but um, they're good nerves because I know, I know the, what the result's going to be. Oh, oh that's, that's nice. Okay. Well, yeah. it is a formal grilling. You've got representation this time around. Uh, meet Chris. Chris, ahoy to you. Ahoy, boys. Happy birthday, Andy. No need. Uh, have you guys had a chance to chat or have we just <laughs> thrown this at you? Uh, just thrown it. We haven't had a chat yet. Um, g'day, Nick. <laughs> you you know, chat? I thought we were leaving a few weeks so you guys can have a <laughs> chat. No. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, are, you still co- are you still confident, Chris? Uh, yeah, very confident, Andy. <laughs> Chris, have you prepared very a defence for Nick? Um, I've sort of uh, whacked a couple of things together today, yeah. Your Honour. Uh, yeah, great. Your Honour. Um, now, yeah, Chris, we were musing at the end. Uh, Andy and I are just trying to get this right because today's a formal grilling. It is, uh, if Nick's found innocent, it'll be the end of the process. Yeah. Um, mm. Unfortunately, if we're still unconvinced, it will transition into a witch hunt. But because mm. it's a formal grilling, we were thinking, obviously, Nick's the meat Yes. Uh, in the grill. this grilling. The... Are we, what are you? Are we the hot? Are we the barbecue? I think we're the flame. I think we're the barbecue and yeah. the facts are the flame. Yeah. The facts are the heat. So what are you, yeah. Chris? We thought you might be the spatula who I'm, can scoop in and rescue yeah, the meat. I, I think that's probably it. So probably uh, just sort of the plate in between the meat and the the flames and a hot plate. Oh, you're the hot plate. <laughs> I'm sort of the hot plate. If I can keep it cool, I think he's fine. Uh, <laughs> So you're keep, hoping for the, the heat mi- away. I'm trying to push it away. So okay. you're aiming for raw meat, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay, which I guess makes sense. But a part of me goes, but then it's been ungrilled. Like the yeah. grilling hasn't occurred. Yeah, but, but I, I, well, see, I see what you mean. I think I think you're right. Actually, you you don't want raw meat. You would like a grilling, but then you'd like to come out the other side of it a with fair a fair grilling. A fair grilling. So yeah, you're fair definitely grilling, the spatula. Yeah. So it's not overcooked. Maybe you're, actually, uh, absolutely I, right. Jack? I think I know what Chris is. He's the oil. Like you can't just put the meat straight onto the barbecue without My something yes. something in between. Because I was, it, I was wondering if he if if Chris is actually the dial on the barbecue that manages the flame intensity. Right. So he really yeah, wants. I think that's it. He wants him to be grilled, <laughs> grilled but not burnt. Chris, you thought yeah. three things are it, which I quite like. Nick, your lawyer's flip flopping. Uh, as long as I'm not the meat as well, I think we're sweet. <laughs> okay, well, I'll let's do this. this. Let's do this. Let's, let's do this, it. guys. Mm. We've been putting off a formal grilling long enough. We've heard a lot of character references let's on get the show. Serious. Uh, we, we know what the charges are. I've got to um, summarise a little bit mm-hmm. here. This is the charge sheet. Nick, you have been charged with obtaining an H&A coin by deception. Many listeners of the show claim that your ability to name the show number a particular special skill appeared on from memory was false. It was resoundingly claimed that you used some sort of illicit system such as a spreadsheet to provide you with the information. You have pleaded innocent to this charge. Mm. I assume your plea remains the same? Correct. Innocent mm. it is. Okay, we will now hear brief opening remarks. Mm. Nick, um, Nick, Nick you- do you want to start or were you going to refer to your lawyer for the whole thing? I'll, I think I'll refer to Chris. I've said enough um, over the episodes. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Yeah, that's probably a good thing, Nick. Yep, very good. Um, um, <laughs> uh, opening remarks, Chris? Um, well, I would like to apply to have the claims like struck out uh, for there being no reasonable grounds um, for the charge. Mm-hmm. I think the onus of proof doesn't lie with Nick. It lies with Hamish and Andy. Mm-hmm. Um, he's got the coin and he's pleading not guilty. Mm. And I think it needed to be called out when Nick was performing the special skill. Okay. Um, cheating is celebrated on the show. In some ways, <laughs> it's the vibe of the show. <laughs> and if you smell a rat, you've got to call it out at the time. And this was the rule put in place for Chelsea in episode 105 just recently. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> not often does the judge <laughs> applaud. Oh, wow. And, like, double court points for using vibe in your opening remarks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 So he's hey, right, though, because yeah, we, when we did the, you know, mm. we were like, if she called you, you under the laws of smell, immediate rat smell. <laughs> you gotta, 
Got to call it out at the time. We we invented that law in 105. Yes. This incident, the, this incident does predate the invention in, of the law. <laughs> that but, is true. But if episode five, there was also a celebration of cheating as well. It's sort of a theme that's carried through the show. That's true. We did. So you're, we, uh, you're we, arguing we ourselves on, uh, cheated. Yeah, you're arguing on the, the constitutional grounds that, that the Hamish mm. and Andy actually was built upon an ethos of celebrating some cheating. <laughs> yeah. It would be unconstitutional mm. to punish a good duping. Mm. Gee, that's... Absolutely. And you've had plenty of chance at the time when he was performing the skill to call him out. Okay. Interesting. And that's when it has to happen, not on Reddit. Okay. Yeah, well, okay. That's, well, that's okay. Nice. Yeah. Well, the, I mean, that is a very good case. Mm. You've put forward a very good case. I was going to say, the next question is, on what legal grounds should we dismiss the charges against Nick? Are there any other legal grounds? I think he's covered that. I mean, well, I think, you think, I think oh, hey, hey, he's going. Yeah, yeah. no, I think yeah, there is. We would apply to have the claim struck out for there being no reasonable grounds of him being convicted. So there's just no reason for it. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Nick, was that you laughing? <laughs> or was it Chris laughing? <laughs> or was it Chris laughing? It wasn't me. I don't think so. Both are bad. <laughs> In the court's eyes, and, giggle, and whether it's the defendant or his lawyer giggling during, during the, the bit okay, where the lawyer says we should strike I it think, out, I feel that's like a bad look. I feel like your opening remarks were stronger, and your second remark was a repeat. <laughs> it was a rehash. But, but possibly, that's okay. possibly part of the yeah. error of the structure of the formal grilling. I mean, yeah, they exactly. weren't to know that was the next question. Mm. Well, really. The next question we have is the formal grill team, uh, <laughs> which is a basically a triple M footy show in tuxedos. <laughs> the formal grill team would like to know, would you be prepared to face a retesting of the skill in the studio? Would your client succumb to that to ensure he has no access to spreadsheets? Feel free to have a brief word with your client. And we'll, you, you guys can we'll have a chat. Out. We won't be able to listen. We won't, we won't be able to hear this. Can't hear? Bit. Yep, no. can't hear. Turning okay. you off. Are you there, Nick? Yeah, what are your thoughts, Chris? Uh, my thoughts would be absolutely not, um, depending on how confident you are of getting it another time. Mm. But I would I would recommend against it. I think you haven't um, been found guilty of an offence or a fraud, so there's absolutely no obligation to resit. Um, there's essentially a binding contract made when you perform the skill. Um, if you were successful, you got a coin. Um, if not, you missed out. So there was no implied term that they could... Uh, make you sit it again. Um, so I would recommend not uh, sitting it again, but what do you, what do you think? Yeah, I, I agree. I was, um, I peaked um, for the I episode, think so too. And I don't think I'd be able to do it again. Um, they haven't retested anyone else. So. Exactly right. There. And yeah, no, yeah they had their chance. They had their chance. So definitely, definitely not. It would be a, a bold move and it'd be a powerful move if we did it again and you got it. Um, but I just, I think there's too many risks involved. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, coming back online now, guys, have you had a chat? <laughs> uh, yeah. What's, had a what, chat. what decision have you come to? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we yeah, my client's not going to reset the, the test. Oh, okay. <laughs> On what grounds? Well, he has not been found guilty of anything. Um, so there's no obligation to reset mm -hmm. and, it was already a legally binding contract when he performed the skill. So if he was successful, he got a coin. If not, uh, he missed out, and there was no implied term that he could be randomly made to to reset. I think it's an insult to the special skills. Yeah, that's a that's a new thought I haven't overheard. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, Interesting. certainly. I'm just processing that now for the first yeah. time too, and that is a good point. <laughs> 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 well, okay, look, I think I speak for the entire court when I say it's been a long yet fair trial. Mm. This mm. grilling, uh, we've we've had some interesting bits of sizzle, mm. quite, an amount, quite a fair amount of heat. I mm. think the meat, the heat, mm. and the hot plate have done very well. <laughs> yep. if, I could, <laughs> if I could wrap up the formal grilling with a round of compliments, <laughs> as is the court's want. Yeah. Um, we will put you guys on hold. You yeah. won't be able to hear us, much like we couldn't hear you. Yeah. And then we'll grab you guys in a second. <laughs> um, okay. okay. Here we go. Ando. Yeah. Jeez, it's a good defense. Yeah. I, I mean, I think I think we should go to the jury. Jury, what do you think? <laughs> well, I didn't I didn't really realize it until we were in the middle of the grilling, but we don't really have any proof. Chris is right. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. Yeah, we don't. We don't have a single That's bit true. of proof. We don't. We have a hunch. Yeah. Strong hunch and a vibe. Okay, We've got okay, two okay. vibes, a hunch and a, and okay. a gist. You're right. But you're right. 
We've got no proof. He's, but he, before you put him back on. He's what? He's, he, he's, 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 if he's, I had to bet the house, this is what I'd bet on. Mm. We absolutely can't convict him. Mm. And I do think he cheated. That's, that's where I reckon <laughs> we are. Hey. But, I, but I, having said that, it doesn't make me angry. I know, but that's why I want one last swing at this. Okay. Okay. I'll send him in the bulldog. Okay. This, this is, is the judge. <laughs> <laughs> where Matt Damon goes in and turns off the recorder and gets him to call. I mean, it's the intricate scene if you remember it, but it essentially hey, it highlights back, corruption. Yeah. Here's what I'm thinking. We come back and go, are you guys sure? Because if we can prove that you cheated, are you sure you want to be on the record as saying you didn't? Okay. And then just, so we'll give you one last chance. Oh, so you like hint that new evidence has come to light. <laughs> yeah. 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 Very corrupt for a judge to do this, but that is a formal grilling, not a legal proceeding. Here we go. Interesting. Guys, um, just while we're on hold, some new... We had a chat, and and Andy's got one last statement before um, we proceed. Chris and Nick. Uh, Obviously, Nick, you can refer to Chris at any point, but I'm trying to talk to Nick specifically. Nick, if we had evidence that proved that you cheated... I just want to make sure that you're happy going on record today, pleading innocent. What is before we continue? Just want to make sure you're happy with that. Yes. And and oh. what would be what would what would you plead now? Innocent. Good boy. Good boy. Because <laughs> <laughs> Chris, have you seen that done before in court? Where it's essentially a bit of a head fake to just go, uh, what all is? the time. Yeah. yeah. Well. I, I wanted to go- jump in. I wanted to be that sort of hot plate in between them, but I just had to let it ride. Yeah, yeah for the f- well. we took the hot plate off for a second and to see if the meat could withstand raw flame, and it could. Because for a second, Andy yeah. just basically did, went, the police went, well, we've got a mystery box here, and it could have the murder <laughs> weapon in it. Should we open the mystery box? <laughs> and you said open away. Yeah, go for um, it. Let's, we, uh, we've reached a decision. Yep. Gentlemen, would you please rise? Mm-hmm. Nick? Um, it's been a long ordeal for you. You've had your name dragged through the mud. Mm-hmm. Salad sandwich incident doesn't need to be revisited. <laughs> but your character's been called into question. Yep. Um, your mum's defended it. We've certainly been impressed with you as an upstanding citizen mm. and young man and listener of the show. I think the facts as we as we see them, I'll mix some facts with hunches, mm. but it is the formal grilling and the Hamish and Andy show's opinion that whilst it's possible... And some might even say probable that there was some foul play afoot when you won your coin in episode 100. We have no evidence. And I, we do think that Chris's notion of um, visius ratus, halus ratus, <laughs> see a rat, celebrate a rat, <laughs> is in fact one of the founding principles on the show. So even if you did cheat, you've got a shit hot lawyer yep. that's made us realise. <laughs> We can't prove it, yep. and at the end of the day, well done. Mm. If you manage to get a jib across, it's kind of irrelevant. You're right, the coin is unfrozen. Yep. Your name is cleared. Yep. We cannot prove you of the cheat. Nick, you son of a bitch, you walk free. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, you've done it again. <laughs> uh, thanks, boys. Well done, lads. Good stuff, Nick. Uh, Nick, how do, you, how do you feel now? Oh, After all these weeks of being dragged through the mud, my name and my... Um, Okay. My honesty, I suppose. Mm. My character, yeah. Yep. Um, it feels a relief that the truth's finally out there. Mm. 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 I'll just let you know, there is a chance when this goes to air, when the podcast is uploaded, I'm not 100% sure if, like, when we put you on hold, how, like, we can hear it, but the, some people might be able to, depending on what podcast software they have, and they might hear you talk a bit shiftily, Nick, about how you peaked and you don't think you can do the skill again. And that, I mean, who again, we just want to stress to those people that see that as a, you know, have some level of suspicion about that. Look, he's been cleared. Yep. He doesn't want to do it again. Yep. We couldn't prove it. Yep. It was on us to prove it. Couldn't come up with the evidence. Well done, buddy. Well I believe done, guys. That. Congrats on the coin. We believe you. Thank I mean, you, I'm, I'm, I believe Great, that you. Guys. I believe Thanks, that you're an upstanding member of the show. That's all I know for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the coin. Cheers, guys. Enjoy the coin, Nico. It's Thanks, unfrozen. Guys. I'll get straight onto the bank about that. 